Hey guys, I'm back with version 7 of my home screen tutorial and you can see the look here we're going to be creating in this video. Now, as always, all the links are included in the description. That includes stuff like the wallpapers, widgets and icon packs. Be aware some of this stuff may be paid, so yeah, let's do this. Now you can see here I've pretty much put it all back to stock and the first thing you always need with these setups is a custom launcher. So I'm using Nova, you can use stuff like Apex, it's pretty much the same deal. So I'm going to dive into the launcher settings here by tapping and holding the screen and we need to go into the desktop to mess around with the grid sizes. So click into desktop grid and you need to make the rows 8 and the column 6. This is important otherwise the apps won't look right. Width margin is set to none height margin is set to none and the persistent search bar is set to never. That's pretty much all you need to do but I've also turned the icon labels off because I think it makes a cleaner look on the home screen so that's your choice right there. Now there are some settings you need to change in the drawer but we'll leave that for now because the dock is more important and on this home screen I don't actually have a dock so click into the dock and disable it completely and that's pretty much all you need to do here again. You can also turn off the show scroll indicator, that's up to you. Now you can see here we don't have a dock so you're probably wondering how to get into the app drawer and I've set a gesture to double tap the screen to get into my app drawer and this is a Nova setting. I'm not sure if it's available on other launchers, I don't know, it may well be, but click into gestures and settings if you're using Nova. Scroll down and you can basically choose any of these gestures but I chose double tap to be the app drawer, so yeah. Okay, so we're shaping up a little bit. Now the wallpaper is actually just part of a Metrosphere icon pack, so I'll include that in there. I'm not going to show you how to apply that because it's pretty easy. And the icons, you can see you just arrange them in the areas where there's space in the wallpaper. So moving on to the transparent nav bar, and you can see right now it's black. Now I'm using a custom ROM called Paranoid Android to do this. You can just swipe down, click the hybrid settings. You can see it says Nova Launcher. Scroll over to the right and you can see nav bar color. Now you can just pull this over to be a little bit more transparent like there, around about here, and you can just press it press apply and then there you go, you'll see the nav bar is transparent. Now I'm not sure if you're using a different ROM, it may be a different procedure, but this is how you do it on Paranoid Android. Now this is where you need to dive into the drawer because you need to make the drawer a little bit transparent, otherwise it just looks stupid with a transparent nav bar. So you can see I've set it to about there and if we go back and dive into the app drawer, you can see it looks fine. It doesn't look out of place, it flows properly and that's how it's meant to be. So make sure you make your drawer a little bit transparent, otherwise it will just look stupid with a transparent nav bar. Okay, so moving on to some of the widgets. Now, we'll start off with the UCCW widget. So you do need to download and install the UCCW app first. Then you need to download the widgets that are the UCCW compatible widgets. So now we need to add the clock widget. And it doesn't matter how you add the widget. Just do it however you normally add a widget. Just I tap and hold the screen to do that through Nova Launcher. Find UCCW. It doesn't matter which size you pick because we're going to resize it anyway. Once you do that, it should open the UCCW app. And you should see the Elegante clock at the top. That's the one you should have installed after after the UCCW app. So tap that and then you need to tap the hand and you'll see it there. Just resize it and this is where you just need to resize it so it fits the wallpaper. So you can see I'm just resizing it so it's not on the wallpaper and looks about right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do with that. So let's move on to the weather widget. So the weather widget is again another UCCW widget. So just tap and hold the screen where you want it to be. Tap the UCCW again, the size doesn't matter because we're going to resize it. And then once it opens, you need to find the MNML weather app. And again, you would have downloaded that. Just tap resize and it should fit around the right area if you've already set the grid size. As you can see, it's as simple as that. So you can see it's looking pretty good. Now we've got to add one more widget and it's called the Zupa widget. So go ahead and download that. Again, the links are in the description. Hold the left side of the screen. This is where we actually want it to be. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see the Zupa widget free. Again, size doesn't matter. Just pick whichever size because you need to resize it to actually fit in this little gap here. So you want it to look like that. Once you've done that, just tap the actual widget itself. Again, it's going to open up the actual Zupa app. So once it's opened up, just keep scrolling down until you find the up calendar widget. You'll see it somewhere around here. And there it is. So just click that and we'll move on to customizing it. So you can see the little preview at the top and you can see it doesn't look anywhere near right. So the first thing you'll need to do is click into layout, click the text icon and you need to change the X offset. Just keep tapping left until you get it to kind of fit all the way to the left of the little box and then use the Y offset to kind of move it up and down. Again, that's sort of your preference. I like it a little bit off the uh, off the floor of the widget. So press back and then you need to click series. Now on the series, you, again, you need to do the same thing. Change the X and Y offset until it kind of fits next to it. And you also need to change another thing on here because you'll see it also includes the actual day, which I don't want. So scroll down until you get to series type. 
and scroll up and you should see right at the top it says day of the month number and that's the only one we want we don't want it to say monday or tuesday so click that and you'll see it now just says the october the 25th or october the 26th whatever it's going to be so just keep messing around with it until you get what you want and i also changed the spacing to spacing three so it fits a little bit better in the widget and looks a little bit bigger and that's it just keep pressing back after that i don't even think you need to hit save and it should refresh into the widget and there you go it's starting to look right okay so next up we got to change the icon pack so dive into your launcher settings again and for nova it's called look and feel you can see that right there click into that and click icon theme again you need to download this before you apply it and it's stark this is the one i was using click stark it's a paid app but it's really awesome i also changed the icon size to 90 percent i don't know why i just prefer it as that click OK and I also changed the animation speed to Nova again that's just my preference but yeah that's it go back to the home screen and you can see it's complete you now have a transparent nav bar the icons look excellent so does the home screen the widgets are all working yeah you can see my other home screens here but again all I did with these other home screens is rearrange my widgets and apps to kind of fit in with the wallpaper so yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys peace out